All right, James, so here's the first swing we saw today. Like you said, you're hitting everything pretty much dead straight. The only thing you kind of mentioned to me that's not been great is that you're kind of hitting some pulls and hooks with that driver. But you're continuing to play very well and have a lot of good scores. Again, we like a lot of things going on with that swing from both angles. From this angle, you see that, again, a little bit above the plane. You can't quite release them, you know, as a result. And so I said, if you wanted to leave it that way, you could, and you can hit a lot of straight shots that way. But in my experience, if you leave it there within a few weeks, maybe a couple months, you'll start to have some slices as well as hooks. And then that's when you really start to get confused with your full swing and start to lose your confidence. And so I asked you, do you want to go ahead and try to make that alteration to get that thing back on that plane line a little better? And you said, yeah, let's do it. And so you can see why that driver would be a little pulled or pulled hooked. So because you've worked on that a lot this fall and winter, you get it back on that plane line very easily. And we saw all the balls start more to the right with the same good draw. Nothing stayed to the right. Through that batch of drivers, and then there goes the iron right there, buddy. Same good iron, and that even helped the long iron. That four iron you put in your hand, you hit a very, very, very good batch of ball flights with that four iron when you're on the plane. That's another reason to not let yourself get above the plane line. It gets harder to hit the longer clubs solidly, like you just described, described to me. So with all the clubs now on that plane line, it makes everything a lot more consistent, a lot more solid. And then I like the ball back in your stance. Uh, just put it down a little more than normal to keep it from going right. You can hit that low shot off the tee all day long if you're bothered by the wind a little bit at all. Any questions there, bud? Your observations? This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around metal length. This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's a down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have a face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 20th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PuttersEdge.com. So when you hit your full shots, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the step meter, 10.5 on the step meter, and 12.5 on the step meter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. And you can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn the certain fields in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. Then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get time, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or... If you get pretty satisfied that things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air, and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is for the front, back, and middle of each green. And again, the covered area here is heated, so we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said, and it enables us to see some ball flight, and then we get satisfied that things are looking the way we want, and we come back inside, take off our coat, 
and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking to make sure that you understand it. And then notice too, my exercise ball up top here, and then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsuds.com. Take care.